So two candidates are vying to succeed. Mayor Daryl Steinberg, who decided not to run for a third term. The first, Dr. Flojan Kofer, an epidemiologist and policy director who garnered the most votes in the March primary. Next candidate, California Assembly member Kevin McCarty, who placed second in that primary. So we're going to be interviewing both of the candidates over the next week. We're going to start tonight with... Assembly member Kevin McCarty, a Democrat. His run for mayor comes after serving in the Assembly since 2014. While in the Assembly, McCarty prioritized advocating for California's youth, education initiatives, and police reform. Prior to that, he served on the Sacramento City Council for 10 years. Kevin McCarty joins us now here on Fox 40. Did I get the resume every single position on there? You got most of it. Okay, okay, okay. Thanks yes. for joining us. Uh, 34 days until Election Day. You've been really busy. We've been covering a lot of the events, the discussions and debates that you uh, and Dr. Flo Jean Kofer have been doing as you vie for this seat. So last time we spoke, though, it was before the primary. So now it's down to two. A lot going on at the national level. Voters are just starting to dial in at the national and local level. So make the pitch. Why should Sacramentans pick you to be the next mayor? Well, th th there's a big election at the national level, but I like to say that all politics are local. So <laughs> you're, whatever you think about your city, whether it's homelessness, public safety, our city parks, our budget, building more housing, those are local decisions, and that's the mayor's race. This is a big deal. So it's not just uh, November the 5th. Ballots go out next week. So early voting now in California, it's essentially a voting month. So people are really engaged. We're having great conversations, and I think people appreciate that I have something to bring to the table to uh, focus on results. You know, I've been a city commissioner, uh, I've been a council member, I've been an assembly member, all as far, all about bringing people together and looking for solutions to our issues, whether they're homelessness, um, you know, public safety, tackling our city budget, growing our economy. I think people appreciate somebody who can work with others. You know, I've worked with the legislature, with county supervisors, because you know what? These problems are so big, we can't tackle them alone. We need to work in partnership. About building coalitions, it sounds like that's what you want to do. So let's drill down and talk about some of those specific issues because as you know, your time in politics, you know, folks get elected, they run on talking points, and then when it comes to getting things done, it's a little bit more difficult. So let's just start with the issue of homelessness. This is something that has plagued city, state, governments for years. We've spent a lot of money here mm -hmm. in California on it, as you know. So what specifically are you going to bring to the table that hasn't been done yet? Yeah, I'm going to do five things. Okay. Uh, first, is my first day as mayor, I'm going to audit our existing expenditures. I, I don't think there's anything illegal happening, but are we spending our money most appropriately? You know, our problems are this high, we only have this much amount of resources, so we need to make sure we're getting our biggest bang for our buck. I think we need to enforce the law. I think we need to enforce no camping in city parks, in front of businesses, in, in front of neighborhoods, so that's a big thing is forcing no camping. I also think we need to do a much better job telling people where they can go. Uh, you know, whether they're lots of the, uh, the former city corp yards, uh, vacant Caltrans land, showing where we can have more cost-effective places where people can go. Uh, fourthly, we need to do a much better job coordinating with the county of Sacramento. You know, we can't f work on these issues alone. Plus, the county has roughly 10 times more money to deal with these issues in the city, so we need to be working more in partnership with the county. Uh, fifth, I think there are a lot of individuals that are homeless out there, we see it, who have behavioral health issues, untreated mental illness. I think we need to uh, in, in, enforce and interpret the new law as far as care courts, helping mm -hmm. people on the streets get into treatment, get them off the streets. So I think that this is an all hands on deck uh, policy issue that we need to work on, and I'm committed to you know bringing everything to the table on day one on this. So you have a lot of support in terms of endorsements. District Attorney Ten Ho has endorsed you. Um, I know your page on your website is full of labor unions, uh, also police and fire. Uh, police union, yes, I know the B had a story out today so that said that there was it's a discrepancy that the police union might not have endorsed you. Do you want to clarify? No, they endorsed us okay, as, okay. as well as... Uh, yeah. So, and you know this working in the legislature, you were chair of the Public Safety Committee as well. We're dealing with tough budgets in California, mm -hmm. uh, at the state and local level. Do you foresee any cuts to any city services when you're talking about these issues like crime and homelessness that you're trying to solve? Well, we're facing a city deficit right now, 40 million. So what I want to do is look at the city budget, which I think is be helpful because I've been in the council before. I've been in the legislature overseeing the budget. So looking at our expenditures and focusing on our priorities, because the top priorities for the city, 85% of our discretionary general fund is on police, fire, parks, and recreation. I want to look at non-areas in that and focus on the core 
of Sacramento. I don't support any cuts to our police department. I think we're at dangerously low levels. I know 15 years ago when I was on the city council, we had 67,000 fewer people in the city of Sacramento and 49 more sworn officers you know, there to work for the city. So we have fewer officers than we do 15 years ago. So I'd like to go back to where we were at least then and potentially grow. But we have to focus on balancing our budget and growing the economy so we can get more resources to, to make better decisions for our community. How is mayor? Can you grow the economy in Sacramento? Well, I think, you know, we're a state uh, workforce. What can we do to get more projects like Aggie Square, bring in biotech and medicine and, and high wage industries to Sacramento? Uh, I love that project over there off of Stockton Boulevard. I'm thinking about downtown Sacramento. You know, 45% of the buildings there pay zero property taxes because there were state buildings, and now they're going to be vacant. So can we put those buildings in the private sector hand to have us build more development, like housing there, help the major issue of the day, needed more affordable housing, and get more money on the tax rolls to, to expand city services? Uh, I want to focus on reforming our building department to make it easier for builders and developers and restaurants that want to come to Sacramento. So I Cutting red tape for permitting, is that? Yes. <laughs> I want to focus on how we can grow our economy and okay. not have to have a deficit so we can focus on expanding services like public safety. Okay, not asking you to Monday morning quarterback here, but I, I set that up and say I'm actually asking you to do that. So I know you know Mayor Steinberg well. Is there something you're seeing right now that uh, he hasn't accomplished that you would like to accomplish? Well, I, I don't think it's, it's one person, but the city, I think, and all cities across California are not doing a great job of dealing with homelessness. It's the issue of the day. It's the issue on day one I'm going to zero in on. I talked about what we need to be doing. Um, I think we need to find a better place for people c that should be going. I don't. Where, where do you think that is right now? Well, I don't support, those? and there's been a big controversy out there about um, city parks. City parks, I yes. I know uh, my opponents talked about using city parks for homeless sites, and I think that's a bad idea for neighborhoods. I think there are Caltrans lots. There's land behind Cal Expo. There's former city courtyards where we used to park our trash trucks. There's there's a few places around the city of Sacramento which I think are appropriate places. So we need to tell people where they can go and have some compassion saying, hey, you can't camp here, we need to go over here. And so uh, that is the issue. I think the city, sometimes governments focus on the perfect mm -hmm. solution and not the good. In other words, sometimes we want to spend $600,000 on a perfect solution for one individual to get an apartment for a homeless person. Well, how about having six tiny homes to help six people? Because we have 3,000 people who are homeless in the city of Sacramento. So I want to focus on more cost-effective and you know, practical solutions. And we're going to clarify with your opponent next week when we have her on the show uh, to talk about this, about to clarify her position on uh, camping in parks, because I, that came up in our last discussion. I know I asked you about this, too, about the support of Proposition 36. It's, it's this reform effort to reform Prop 47 to deal with retail theft and crime and, and elements of homelessness. And there are a few mayors in, in California, San Francisco, San Jose, and San Diego, who have been very vocal on this. The governor does not like it. He came out against it. The last time we spoke, you're like, I'm not going to take a position on that because I'm going to have some bills in the legislature uh, that are going to deal with this. Did that come to fruition? It did. I, I support a number of measures mm -hmm. to bring about more accountability for okay. repeat offenders, so retail theft and drug abuse, which you see many of these individuals on our streets. And I think that we need more accountability. I believe in redemption, but not accountability on the front end. And the voters are going to have a say on Prop 36, whether or not do they want to do more. you think the legislature went far enough, though, in your opinion, to, to handle that? with The, the retail theft situation, yeah. which we covered extensively, was pretty messy. But do you feel like that body went far enough? Or do you think that we need 36 now? Because yeah. Public Policy Institute of California came out with some polling last week showing 71% of voters in California want to vote yes on that. Yeah, I don't think we went far enough, okay. uh, in large part because you can't change the, the repeat offenders without going back to the, to, the, to the ballot. We tried to do a compromise measure to the ballot, ran out of time, it okay. fell apart. Um, you know, I think the voters are going to have their say, but this is going to help cities across um, California what we're doing. And I think my job as mayor is going to be easier because of the pendulum is swinging back towards the middle as mm -hmm. far as smart public safety reforms, as well as more balance and common sense on addressing homelessness. And so I think it's time that we have these state policies mirror what, we need, what we're seeing in our cities, like our capital city of Sacramento. So are you a yes on 36 now? 
I'm still still evaluating okay. it, okay. but, but I, I will say that much of what's in that measure mm -hmm. is what I wrote in bills this year, and I think that we had some shortcomings as far as accountability for repeat offenders. Have you had a conversation with the current mayor? Has he bestowed any wisdom? Hey, you know, these, this is some advice I would give you if voters decide to elect you to this position. He has, he has. Um, some of those are between okay. uh, he, he and I, but he says it's, a, it's an amazing job serving our capital city. He said it's, it's not uh, always easy. One of the things that he talked about, which I pride myself on, is you have to work with others. And I think that's one thing the city hasn't always done well, which I'm doing mm -hmm. uh, right now. I have majority of the Board of Supervisors endorsing our candidacy, because we need to work on these things with the city and the county together. You know, issues like homelessness don't see boundaries. They're just, it's out there. So we can't work on these things on an island. And so I think working in partnership and having a little patience going together is gonna go a long way. Okay, so we're not doing a debate here. We're having a conversation because you've been doing plenty of debates. But, but I want to give you the opportunity for the last question here because this will probably be the last conversation we have uh, before Election Day, really before, like you said, ballots are going out and people are going to mm -hmm. start voting. So, so make your pitch to the voters of Sacramento. Why should they pick you over Dr. Kofer? Well, I think people appreciate that this is a tough job mm -hmm. and having somebody that knows how to do the job. You know, having somebody who's been, in the, been a city council member, been a city commissioner, been a lawmaker, understanding how to work with others and focusing on practical solutions to our issues. And I think people appreciate my uh, common sense approach to public safety and homelessness. So it's going really well talking to people out there of Sacramento, but end of the day, it's their call. But I, I feel, I'm feeling optimistic and I'm enjoying these last 34 days of the campaign. I would say mayor, city council members are the closest to the people because if they don't like something, they can show up at those meetings and voice their concerns, which what's, makes the process, you know, engaging, people getting involved, so. Yeah, you know, I, I serve as a council yeah, member, you know, well, and people know, you know, yeah. my speed bump, you know, my street, right. my city park, closest so all politics people. are local. Kevin McCarty, we appreciate your time here. Uh, good luck out there as you campaign with, what did we say, 34 days 34 until days. election day. Appreciate your time. Thank you.